Khloe Kardashian is one of my faves in the Kardashian-Jenner fam, I would have to admit, and today we're gonna be looking at her house tour. At the time of this video, she's 35 years old and she's a reality star, influencer, model, and businesswoman, much like her sisters. Not to mention she's a mom to her daughter, True Thompson, who she now co-parents with her baby daddy, Tristan Thompson. Chloe has 98.5 million followers on her Instagram at the moment, and her page looks like she's living the dream and looking glam as always. We've been working on the house tours of the Kardashian-Jenner, so I figured we might as well just try and do them all. And you guys requested Chloe's house, so here it is. Maybe Courtney will be next. I also wonder if you guys want to see Kris Jenner's place, so if you do, let me know in the comments. With an estimated net worth of 40 million, Chloe is apparently just a little bit behind her mom, Chris, in terms of wealth. I'm not sure, but I think out of the whole fam, Rob has the lowest net worth. It's still 10 mil, so I wouldn't be complaining. Anyways, with a net worth like that, we already know Chloe has a nice mansion. One thing you should have learned about the Kardashian Jenner estates is that most of them are basically neighbors. The majority of the fam has purchased up an area in Calabasas called Hidden Hills. Here's where Kim and Kanye have their mega mansion, Chris has her house, Kylie has her dream mansion, and a few more properties. And Chloe and Courtney are right beside in the gated community called the Oaks. So don't bet on buying any houses here because they've clearly taken over. Chloe's house is one of the nicest in my opinion. She used the same interior designer, Martin Lawrence Bullard, like a few of the family members did, even Kylie, so you can see some similarities for sure. And a little later on, I'll tell you which celebrity Chloe purchased her current mansion from, if you don't already know. Hey guys, it's Kara, and we've been trying something a little different here on this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Khloe Kardashian's $7.2 million mansion in Calabasas and see what her place is like. We'll also look at her old places like her house with Lamar Odom and the Cleveland house she lived in with her ex Tristan. If you like this idea, I'll make more house tour bids. We also did one on Kim and Kanye's $22 million palace in the Hidden Hills, as well as Kylie and Kendall Jenner's homes, and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments, and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. I'm thinking next will be Kourtney Kardashian. So before we get into Chloe's current house tour, we'll look at where she used to live. Of course, she had a nice spot with her ex Lamar Odom, but they put that up for sale a while back. In fact, it's on the market now for almost 4.9 million if you wanted to buy it. This place was in Tarzana, LA, and almost 8,000 square feet with six bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Chloe and Lamar originally had it listed for almost 5.5 mil, but the new sale price is less. A lot of the keeping up with the Kardashian footage was filmed in this home back in the day, as well as episodes of Chloe and Lamar. This spot was a gated estate in Mulholland Park, and it looked like a dream. The pool and outdoor area was gorgeous. Even at the front, there was a fancy gate and massive driveway. There was an epic entryway here and I love the style of the staircase and the main hallway upstairs. Other features of this home included a few nice main living areas, a super cool bar, some massive walk-in closets, and a home movie theater. This house was amazing, but who would want to keep a house when you're getting a divorce? Chloe wanted a fresh start. Before Chloe resided in her current Calabasas mansion permanently, there was a time she was living in Cleveland. Must have been a little bit out of place for Chloe to be living all the way in Ohio when her family and lifestyle was back in LA, but she did it when she was with Tristan. At the time, Chloe already had her Calabasas mansion, but she moved to Cleveland when her and Tristan had their baby. Although it wasn't her spot, I'm sure she still covered some bills. This home was in Cuyahoga County in Cleveland and cost Tristan 1.9 million. I'll bet the real estate isn't as much as LA, but the home still had the fancy vibes. It was 6,000 square feet with five beds and seven baths and sat on half an acre of land with views of Lake Erie. Although some may call the house simple, at the time Chloe said she was happy to be in Cleveland. Not to mention that this house was still really spacious and had a lot of features. Like a big playroom with a fish tank and an upstairs apartment in case the two wanted a live-in nanny. But clearly things change and Chloe moved Move back to her Calabasas dream home. Now we'll look at the main attraction, Chloe's current home. Chloe bought this house back in 2014 and just like her fam loves to do, invested in a ton of renovations to make it her own. So who did Chloe purchase this house from? None other than Justin Bieber. It was actually after an incident where Justin egged his neighbor's home. 
This was during what I would call Justin's ratchet phase and around the time of his DUI. But either way, I'd guess those neighbors were happy to get a new resident next door. As I mentioned, Chloe's home is located in the super private gated community of the Oaks in Calabasas, where her sister Courtney also lives. Some famous neighbors include Michael Jackson's mother and children, and Britney Spears used to live here too. Although it's technically not in the Hidden Hills like the rest of the fam, they're right beside each other, so it's the same thing. Chloe paid $7.2 million for this mansion, and it's 9,214 square feet, sitting on 1.3 acres of land with six beds and seven baths. Some features of her house include a fountain, beautiful pool and jacuzzi outside, a gorgeous courtyard, a wine cellar that holds about 200 bottles, a guest house and a special movie screening room, which I'll talk about soon. The interior design of Chloe's house is super classy and looks like there's a lot of black, white and grey furnishings. She has a gorgeous glam room that's fit for a queen, as well as a spacious master bedroom and master bath that match the vibes of the house. One of my favourite rooms is a sitting room because of the all white. I don't know that I've ever seen a prettier room. There's also a more practical living room that looks a bit cosier. The kitchen is big and has plenty of space for Chloe's hobbies like baking. Chloe has said, I absolutely adore baking with my nieces and nephews. It's super fun and I love baking by myself, so what I like to do is have a cabinet for my baking essentials. So all of her baking stuff is in a separate cabinet. I like baking by myself. So what I like to do is have a cabinet dedicated to my baking essentials. Everything of course labeled. These are airtight containers that are spill proof. Chloe has given tours of her pantry and fridge too because she loves being organized to an extreme. She's so into it that she has a series called CD. You get it like OCD. Organized by category, like these are all my crackers or cookies on this side and also these are the things that I think I would grab the fastest which is the junk food, the blow pops, caramels, whatever. I love the organization and Chloe's definitely a pro. The top shelf is normally used for drinks because the top shelf is where it gets warmest and the door. So you always put condiments and everything on the side of the door because those are the items that normally won't go bad so easily. She's totally speaking my language there. I think that's the same way I organize my fridge, but I never knew that there was actually signs to back it up. Chloe's even posted the bar in her house and the ways that she organizes that space. It's a bar, so it's supposed to be themey and fun, so I like to actually display my alcohol. And how I organize my alcohol is, I basically just do things that match. I like to have something for everybody. That's just how I roll. One of my favorite rooms in the house is Chloe's movie theater. Like I said before, Martin Lawrence Fuller designed a lot of the Kardashian-Jenner homes, and I can see that here. The same butterfly art that's on the wall is also present in Kylie Jenner's dining room, which is one of Martin's signatures. But when Martin showed this room on his Instagram, the wall art was actually a nude shot of Chloe at the time, so I wonder if they've changed that. The other wall is entirely a screen, so you would definitely have the perfect movie night here. Chloe also has a special pink nursery for her daughter True, where apparently the floor is decked out in soft rugs so she can play around wherever she wants. Finally, Chloe's closets. That's right, she has more than one and they're impressive. But why not? If she doesn't have to share closet space with anyone else at the moment, who cares? She says it herself. I don't have a husband, so I have an extra closet. Chloe has a normal closet with most of her clothes and shoes, which is massive, and we've seen it in some of her organization vids too. So when I saw these little squares in this whole box, it just, I was like, perfect, let's organize with this. And then she also has a fitness closet. We know that she's infamous for organization, so it makes sense that Chloe separated her fitness gear into a separate room. I would love to do the same if I had that kind of space. All my shirts are long sleeves, but they go in order. So this is my black section. And then I go from color. So I always end with black and I start with white. This whole side is my colored leggings, whatever, which is grays, prints. I try to also put them in order of length. This closet is my fitspo. And every time I walk by, I'm like, okay, motivated, should get my ass in the gym. From all that I've seen, I love Chloe's current mansion in the Oaks. She's always lived in gorgeous houses, but this one in particular, you can tell it's really all her. There's plenty of amazing features like her cozy screening room, two giant closets, as well as the master suite and glam room, not to mention the huge yard and pool. Even though the designer infused some Mediterranean style in the home design, it's classy and feminine at the same time. 
Although I really liked Kylie's house, I think that my new favorite is Chloe's. And she's crazy organized like me, so I can only imagine how perfect her living space is. Chloe's house is probably where you'd want to go to if it was the zombie apocalypse, considering she's stacked up with all of the snacks. I think that Chloe has done a great job creating her dream home for herself and her daughter, and I feel like she'll be living at the spot for a while. I mean, she's neighbors with her sister Courtney and right beside most of her other family as well, so I'm sure that makes this house the ideal location. I'd love to know what you guys think about Chloe's house in the comments. Okay guys, so it's time for me to read out a few of your comments from past videos. JLA commented on our Kim K house tour vid saying, Kim's house isn't hers at all, it's all weirdo Kanye. Kim just conceded, she never have it like that on her own. Good point JLA, that's probably why I think it's so weird. It's definitely more his unique tastes. On our Cardi B house tour, Nacy Jones said, Great commentary, I love Cardi and Offset. Wishing them well. Thanks Nacy, and I love the couple too. They're hilarious and I also think from their house plans you can see Cardi stayed real. Finally, Charlotte White commented saying, Good video, keep up the great work. Thank you Charlotte, positive comments are always the nicest to read. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Chloe's Calabasas home. I look forward to reading what you guys think about her spot or if there's anything I might have missed. Like I said, I personally love her space. What was your favorite room in Chloe's house? And out of her and her sister's homes, which one did you like best so far? Let me know in the comments. And let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I'm taking notes. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!